Today we're going to be talking about what is a polynomial. In general, a polynomial is an equation made up of terms. Each term has a coefficient, a variable, and an exponent. So, for example, on the board here we have a polynomial. Each term, I'll circle, so this is a term, this is a term, negative 10x is a term, and 1 is a term, all separated by a plus or minus sign or multiplication sign, actually by the plus or minus sign. So each of these are terms. The coefficient is the number next to the x value. It needs to be a real number. This 4 is a coefficient. The number 1 next to x squared, even though you don't see the 1 there, that's considered to be a coefficient. The 10 is a coefficient, as well as the 1. Now, you don't see an x term there, but you could consider an x to the 0 to be next to it. And for those of you who have forgotten, any uh, term or any number raised to the 0 power, by definition, is considered to be 1. That's why this 1x is 0. It's the same as 1. So these are all considered to be coefficients. And finally, the exponents are the superscripts next to the variables. So notice that we have a 3 x to the third power a 2, that's the exponent for this x value, x to the second power, or x squared. In this case, you don't see an exponent in negative 10x, but it could be considered to the first power, because x to the first power is just x. So that's your exponent there. And finally, if we uh, had the x to the 0 next to it, 0 would be considered the exponent. And those are all considered the exponents. The term polynomial, uh, as we said, is an equation made up of many terms. The name actually comes from poly, meaning many, and nomial, meaning terms. The formal definition of a polynomial is uh, is any function that could be put in the form of a coefficient times a variable raised to a power in general. Uh, what you see here is a formal definition, but don't let it throw you. This a sub n, this a sub n minus 1, and so on are considered to just be the coefficients. So, And these coefficients must be real numbers. The uh, exponents must be 0 or positive. So not to let that confuse you, any, any function that can be put in that form is considered to be a polynomial. So let's look at the first example that we have here. Notice that we have y equals x plus 2. The x is really 1x to the 0 power. That's our first term. Second one is like is 2x to the 0 power. And that certainly is in the form of a coefficient times uh, an, a variable raised to a power. Once again, where the coefficients are real numbers and the exponents are zero or a positive number. Our second equation has a coefficient raised to a power times a variable. Same for each term. x to the first and 1x to the zero. So that certainly could be put in the form of of our formal definition of a coefficient times a variable raised to a power. Our next one, notice that in our next one, the uh, 5x to the fourth is our second term and not our first term. The exponents don't necessarily have to in be in decreasing order. You certainly could rearrange this if you wanted to, to be 4, excuse me, what I meant was you rearrange it as negative 5x to the fourth plus 
x squared minus 4. And now it's exactly in the form of a polynomial where the largest power comes first, and then it goes in de decreasing powers uh, from then on. Um, but it doesn't have to be in that order to begin with. And notice that this one also has a coefficient times a variable raised to a power, a coefficient times a variable raised to a power, finally, um, negative 4 times x to the 0. So that's perfectly in the form of a polynomial. And finally, y equals 1, you might notice uh, there's no variable. But once again, we could consider the variable to be x raised to the 0 power, which is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. And so that is certainly uh, in the form of a polynomial. And therefore, all four of these are considered to be polynomial polynomials. So these equations are all polynomials because they can be put into the form shown in the definition. Notice that the definition does not include the operation of division where a variable is in the denominator. So for example, the following is not considered to be a polynomial. y equals 2x squared minus 3 over x. Notice the 3 over x term. We, in our definition of a polynomial, we never have an x in the denominator. No variable could be in the denominator. And therefore, um, this is not considered to be a polynomial. Next, we're going to talk about the degree of a polynomial and its leading coefficient. The degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent found when comparing the exponents of each term. And the leading coefficient of a polynomial is the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. So for example, look at this polynomial here. We look for the largest exponent. And you will notice that the 3 is the largest exponent. Therefore, this is considered to be a polynomial of degree 3. or third degree polynomial. To find the leading coefficient, we simply look at the coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. And therefore, the leading coefficient is 4. So once again, the third degree polynomial, because the highest exponent is 3, the leading coefficient is 4, because 4 is the coefficient of the third degree term. What is the degree uh, and leading coefficient of this polynomial? Once again, you'll notice that uh, if you look for the highest exponent, notice it's not the first term in this case. Notice that in this case, the 5 is the highest exponent. Therefore, this is a polynomial of degree 5, or a fifth degree polynomial. And notice that the leading coefficient is the coefficient in the term with the highest exponent. And that is the 3. I'll just put LC for leading coefficient, save space. So once again, it is a fifth degree polynomial because the highest exponent is 5, even though the first term does not contain it, and the leading coefficient is 3. Finally, let's do some examples. Uh, explain whether or not each of the following is a polynomial. So in the first example, 7x to the fourth plus the square root of x plus 5. You should notice that it does have many terms. Uh, however, uh, and they certainly have the coefficients are real numbers. But notice we have a square root of x term. That is not part of our definition of a polynomial. And therefore, this is not a polynomial. In B, we have 3x squared minus 3 over x. Notice, although the first term seems fine, the second term has an x in the denominator. You're not allowed to have an x in the denominator of a polynomial. And therefore, this is not considered to be a polynomial. And we put a no. 
The next one, we have 3x to the fourth. That seems fine. We have 5 thirds, which is a real number as a coefficient, times x to the third power. So that seems fine. The square root of 2 is a real number. That's perfectly fine. Notice the x is not in the square root. So we have the square root of 2, which is like a number around 1.4. Uh, times x, so that's fine, and finally 6 is fine, and therefore that is a polynomial. In our last example, we have an 8 as a coefficient, that's fine, and x, which is fine, but we have a negative 1 as an exponent. We are not allowed to have negatives, therefore this is not a polynomial. And now it's your turn. See if you can answer these questions to determine if the given function is a polynomial function. Um, if you have any trouble, just go back and review the screencast. Good luck, and see you again next time.